All right, having too good of a time with Emmy Ickwalker here at the Emmy Gifting Suites that, you know, uh, we were joking to you that Gandhi, but it, you know, it turns out he does have a lot of wise words of wisdom, especially yeah. for the aspiring artists yeah. and actors. And, and what was your journey and how can you impart your information? I think just with me, I think especially just going into this year, um, I actually made a film and the film was a film called Chance. And it's basically about this guy who's going through downtown and what happens is he meets this girl and they have this amazing night and then you realize at the end of the movie that he never actually talked to her. Now, the reason why that changed me in a way was because I started watching, and I watched about like 50 times, and I remember on like the first, 51st time, I started bawling. And I started crying again, 52nd, 53rd, and I kept crying at the exact same spot. And now the part that I was crying at was when the character said, I felt that it was my Achilles heel, and it was about taking a chance. And what it made me realize is that so many people, if it's not here or in Midwest, they have this dream of like this idea of, you know, I want to do this. And I have this idea of how it's going to play out. But you're never going to know exactly how it's going to play out unless you really just dive in and play it out. So I think right at that moment, I was working a day job. So what I did was I quit my day job. I quit everything. I had literally no savings. And then I was like, you know what? My purpose is not this day job. Right. And you only have one life. Like literally, you only have one life. And it's like... You only have that one, so then I decided to dive in, and I said, you know what, I want to dive in completely into acting. People were like, you're crazy, you have any savings? And I'm like, no. But I said, the worst place that I could possibly be right now is at this current moment, because I'm not living out my purpose. Because the one thing that you have to realize is you can medicate so many things. You can medicate depression, you can medicate sadness, but the one thing that you can't medicate is purpose. Yep. Like at some point, it's going to eat inside of you, until you have to be like, I got to do something and then that's what I did and at that moment when I took that plunge that's when I everything kind of broke out for me it was because I was putting all my focus towards this one thing that I knew that I had to do nice. and it's just like and I think in terms of anything it's like the thing that we do in this job is it's a complete it's a choice you know what I mean and we have to understand at the end of the day it's a huge luxury you know what I mean because we're out of like and most people look at LA in like a weird spot because they look at it kind of like oh my god it's a depressing place but it's like no I think it's one of the most inspiring places because you're like literally looking at every single actor, musician, at some point in their hometown, someone told them, what are you doing? You're completely crazy. Right. Like you're completely insane. In the and land they, of misfit toys. Exactly. And then at that point, they decided to pack up their bags and leave. It becomes the city of angels. And that's exactly yeah. what it is. It's like every single person is pursuing a dream that someone told them that was impossible. And now yeah. it's like that's a good sign when, you, when you're inspired with, you know, with spirit. Yeah. Uh, you're speaking uh, just incredibly powerful and truthful words. Yeah. And uh, I hope everybody hears this. Yeah. And um, thank God you listen to your voice. No, and I, think, and I think everybody has it. Everybody has their voice. Everybody has to go towards it. And I think it's like signs are going to start pointing to you and you yep. realize as soon as you have that decision everything inspires in that direction to make sure that you achieve it because at the end of the day if you're not living at your purpose you're not living out the spirituality's purpose at the same time yep. that's what you're supposed to it's be actually, doing it's kind of like your 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 duty your your right uh is to if you have, if your dream is this child yeah and you want your child to win and, and, and fully grow and so yeah. you, you're you're kind of obligated. It's like that's your divine, uh, yeah. you know, responsibility. And yeah. So you're being such a responsible angel. Yeah. And I also, I also compare it to like a book. Like so, and I, this is the way that I kind of look at the world. It's like you know, when you look at a book, you're not exactly sure. So it's like what happens is, all you can be like, let's say you're assigned in a book and you're the letter A, and you see an A, and all you can be is an A. So every single place you put an A. A, you go to the 40th page. There's another A. There's another page. And then at the same time, I'm the word the. And the only thing that I can control is me because I'm the word the and I can do the the best way I can do it. Right. But then you start looking at it along at everybody else, everybody's different words. And you don't realize that in a collection as a whole, you're telling a story at the end of the day and you don't realize that. So the thing that you should do is be the best person that you can be because at the end of the day, there's a story being told without you even realizing it. And the Oscar goes too. <laughs> that is a powerful speech. I think yeah. you need to write that down and maybe tell that story. Uh in yeah. the film yeah. and, and we'll see you Emmy at the Oscars <laughs> or the Emmys because you know television is a great format for telling stories mm -hmm. and uh, yeah I'm, I'm really happy that you flew out here and uh, that you get to share your light with everybody absolutely thank you so much thank you I'm gonna, I'm gonna go let's go yeah. let's go let's go save the world I'm let's ready. go save the world that's oh, great yeah. you need to be an inspirational speaker too that's gonna be like you'll be the that'll be your Oscar roles when you do that speech <laughs> <laughs>